In the time and world we live in today, there is an abundance of uncertainties and stakes. Businesses, families, properties, individuals, or investments are in peril to various types and degrees of perils. These encompass risks to health, investments, casualties of life, property, capital, etc. And though it is not invariably possible to deter undesirable circumstances from occurring, the economic world has created products that safeguard people and businesses against such casualties by reimbursing them with financial aid. Insurance is nothing but a financial product that curtails or abolishes the expense of loss or impact of loss inflicted by various kinds of risks. Do you want to know what the top five insurance companies in the world are? Then you're just in the right place because we'll rank them in today's video. So keep watching till the end to find out all about them. The top five companies we have ranked are by 12-month trailing dividends. All the companies in the video are publicly marketed or traded in the United States of America or Canada, which might be through ADRs or directly. All the numbers and figures are according to the year 2021. Here we begin. Number 5. Allian Southeast Alizy On number 5 of our list, we have Allianz. It is a steering international financial service company, procuring services and products from insurance to investment management. The company's revenue, TTM, is appropriately $97.5 billion and has a net income, TTM, of about $7.7 .7 billion. It delivers insurance derivatives ranging from estate and casualty agreements to life and health insurance for individual and corporate customers. The headquarters of the company is located in Germany. The company's market capitalization value is $98.5 0 billion dollars and the one-year trailing total return is about minus 3.4 percent the company exchanges over the counter or otc it is one of the world's dominant insurers and investment managers with 126 million corporate and private customers in about 70 countries ally in southeast entails the prerequisite of investment in security advisory services it regulates through sectors such as life slash health asset management property casualty and corporate Number 4. China Life Insurance Co. Limited, LFC. On number 4 of our list, we have China Life Insurance Co. Limited. China Life Insurance is another one of the continent's biggest government owned insurance and monetary services companies. In addition to being a vital participant in China's capital market as an institutional investor, the company was established in 1949, the same year the People's Republic of China was also founded. The company has a revenue, TTM, of approximately $111.1 billion and a net income, TTM, of about $7. $7.2 billion. The company presently has various subsidiaries strewed across pension plans, property and casualty, asset management, investment holdings, and life insurance. The company's market capitalization value accounts for $64.0 billion, and the one year trailing total return is about minus 9.0%. China Life Insurance Exchanges over the New York Stock Exchange. China Life Insurance Co. Limited entails casualty, health insurance, provision of life and assistance. It regulates through the sectors such as health insurance businesses, accident insurance businesses, and life insurance businesses, among other businesses. Number 3. AXASA, AXAHY. On number three of our list, we have AXASA, AXAHY. AXA is another one of the major insurance groups in the world, with primary businesses in life insurance, estate and fatality insurance, asset management, and savings. Many insurance companies integrated back in the 1990s to establish AXA and today. It does business in almost all primary global markets. The revenue, TTM, of the group accounts for approximately $112.4 billion, and the net income, TTM, is about $3.3 billion. The AXA Insurance Group exchanges over-the-counter, or OTC, and has a market capitalization value of $55.7 billion. AXA currently operates in 50 nations and has around 149,000 distributors and employees committed to a client base of $95 million. The year trailing total return of the company is minus 9.1%. The company has expertise in the fields connected to a spectrum of services 
services and products modified to the requirements of all the clients across its three primary business lines, life and savings, asset management, and property casualty insurance. The group's net income increased by 135% to Euro 7.3 billion, mostly from the gain in underlying revenue, a positive shift in the fair price of invested derivatives investments from favorable market impacts and higher cumulative acknowledged capital profits. Number 2. Ping Insurance Group Co. of China Limited PNGA Live. Ping & Insurance Group Corporation is the number two position on our list. The insurance group has revenue, TTM, of approximately $155.0 billion, and a net income, TTM, is $17.5 billion. The insurance group was established in the year 1988 and was the foremost joint stock insurance company of the Republic of China. Ping & Insurance Group Corporation is entailed mainly in sectors such as insurance, banking, and monetary services services. It is one of the prime 50 businesses or companies registered on the Shanghai Stock Exchange, one of the largest stock exchanges in the world. Its subsidiaries encompass Ping and Property and Casualty, Ping and Annuity, Ping and Health, and Ping and Life, among several others. The corporation's market capitalization value is about $230.8 billion, and the year trailing total return for the company was 9.0%. It exchanges over the over-the-counter, or OTC exchange. Ping and Insurance operates through the segments such as securities, banking, insurance, technology, trust, other asset management, and several others. The insurance sector provides estate, life, health insurance services, pension, and casualty. The banking sector tackles intermediary businesses and loans, credit cards, and wealth management services. The trust sector of the company undertakes financing activities and procures trust services. The securities sector tackles investment banking, asset management services, brokerage, and trading. Finally, the other asset management sector procures investment administration services and monetary leasing companies, evaluating the execution of economic leasing and asset management associates. Number 1. Berkshire Hathaway BRKA on number one of our list, we have Berkshire Hathaway. The company has a revenue, TTM, of $279.2 billion. The year trailing total return of the company is 3.3%, and it uses the New York Stock Exchange, the biggest stock exchange in the world. Berkshire Hathaway Incorporated is a leading syndicate and one of the world's exclusive insurance companies, also acquiring businesses in territories such as manufacturing, transportation, utilities, power generation and distribution, rail, retailing, and other services. Berkshire Hathaway procures central insurance and reinsurance of estate and loss risks through firms such as Berkshire Hathaway Reinsurance Group, Geico, General Re, Berkshire Hathaway Primary Group, National Indemnity Company, and several others. It has a net income TTM of $35.8 billion and a market capitalization value of $549.0 billion. So from the huge numbers, you already get the idea of how big the insurance company is and why it deserves to be on the top position of our list. Berkshire also holds a vast portfolio of capital derivatives and securities, impacting the corporation's documented financial performance. The company's directory of adversaries indicates Berkshire's striking lineage of businesses. It encompasses insurance companies like Progressive Corp or PGR, Jefferies Financial Group Incorporated or JEP, Allstate Corp or All, and freight rail corporations like the Union Pacific Corp, popularly known as UNP, CSX Corporation, and utility and power generating companies such as Nextera Energy Incorporated, General Electric Co., GE. However, this is different. The top most insurance company in the world also contends with several retailers and manufacturers. Although most of the revenue of Berkshire is generated by insurance, manufacturing businesses produce the maximum revenue before taxes. The company's business has started to recoup from the preliminary shock of the unfortunate and unexpected COVID. COVID-19 pandemic and its hostile consequences. In the middle of February of the year 2021, Berkshire Hathaway announced that Tom Murphy had relinquished the position of the board of directors of the company. Financials Berkshire of Berkshire Hathaway declared the financial results in late February for its fiscal year of 2021, culminating on 31st December 2021. The aggregate revenue attributable to its root business undertakings rose approximately 12.5% to 276 
$6.1 billion, though comprising the profits made on the company's investment and secondary contracts. The company's revenue rose about 23.9% to $354.6 billion. The net earnings of Berkshire, attributable to its stakeholders, also rose approximately 111.2% to $89.8 billion in the fiscal year of 2021. Next, the earnings before taxes, popularly termed as EB, which the association wields as a profitability cadence for its private business components, were about $111.7 billion in the fiscal year of 2021, which is increased by a whopping 100.5% in comparison to the last year. That's it for today's video. What do you think of these top 5 insurance companies worldwide? Let us know in the comments below. And we'll be back with another interesting video soon, so subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to always get all updates. Thanks for watching.